back to another video. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Sam and lately I loved to post a lot of videos reviewing sustainable fashion and accessory brands. I'm also living abroad here in Munich so you get a little sprinkling of vlogs here and there. If you are interested in that then please like and subscribe because it really helps support what I'm doing. So for today's video I'm going to be reviewing the small bag from Jenna Street's new Loon collection. Here is a little sneak peek of what it looks like. To get this video started, I'm going to do a small little introduction of Jenna Street. So if you guys have already heard of them, then definitely you can skip to the review. Um, but if you are not familiar with them, then I will do a little introduction, just saying their mission and how they're sustainable and ethical and all of that. So the mission of Jenna Street, and it is mentioned on their website, is to create compassionate and durable handbags. They also have a statement um, where they say that they would like to live in harmony with the environment and the inhabitants who live on this planet. But they also mention that their goal is to be 100% plant-based and circular, which again, great news. Their bags are designed in Berlin and then their production happens in Portugal for the Loon collection and then for their last collection it happened in Italy. Um, so I like that they are trying to keep it European. That's great, kind of close to home. And their new collection, which is the Loon collection, is made from 95% plant-based materials. I also do want to mention they are a vegan brand. What I like about Genistry is that they have a, a circular bag program. So what that means is after having a Genistry bag for six months or longer, you um, can send it back and they can recycle it responsibly and you can get 30% off of a new um, Genistry bag. I think that this is really great because, you know, your style changes. Sometimes you um, don't want that color bag anymore. So I like that they are really attempting to be circular and I think that more brands should be like this. They also have something called the imperfect sale where bags that have slight imperfections from production or from shipping are discounted. Um, so you can get them for a lower price and Again, I think that this is great. Just because a bag has a little imperfection, it doesn't mean that it doesn't deserve a good home and shouldn't be sold. It should not be thrown away. With every purchase, um, they also include this little keychain, which is made from a woman in Pakistan from RLCC, which stands for, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be pronouncing this correctly, but Raana Liaquat Craftsman's colony. So it is an organization that offers um, craftsmanship skills to um, women in order for them to kind of gain financial independence, which I think is amazing. So now I'm going to get into the materials of the loom bag. So the inside is made from linen. But linen is just an overall very sustainable plant. It requires a lot less water than um, organic cotton. And it's also known to grow very easily without pesticides. And if you weren't aware, linen is made from flax plant fibers. And the flax plants were actually um, grown in France and Belgium. So again, I like that they are trying to keep their production very close to home. And then the outside of the bag is made with something called apple skin, um, also known as apple leather. So what they do to make this material is they use the waste of an actual apple um, and then they mix it with organic cotton and some synthetic materials. I think that this is a really cool concept. I've never had a bag made, made from apple leather before, but I'm super impressed and I will get more into that later. And then the hardware on the bag is made from brass and it has a vintage light gold finish. So now a little review of the Loon small bag. Um, I received the package very quickly and as you can tell, Genistry does the best job at packaging. I just absolutely love um, the way that they package their bags. Um, as you can see, there's some lavender, there's some cute little stars with tissue paper and the box I always reuse. Everything is recyclable and the tissue paper I like to reuse for gifts. In the package, it also comes with a few cards just with some information um, about about the bag and I love the photos that they use on the card. I think I wanna like find a place in my apartment to kind of like hang them up everywhere. I think that they're super cute. And then the bag comes in a little dust bag. This is it here. Um, it is made from GOTS 
orga uh, certified organic cotton. I love to use them personally when I travel to separate whatever is in my suitcase. So this one is quite small. It would be great to separate my socks. A bigger one, maybe it would be good for jeans or pajamas, stuff like that. My Loon small bag was from the Imperfect sale. And to be honest, I cannot for the life of me find the imperfection. I have absolutely no idea where it is. I've checked along the chain. I've checked inside. Um, I've checked everywhere and I cannot find it. So whatever it is, it must be really, really small. And contrary to what I thought, the chain of the Loon small bag is very dainty. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more chunky, but I really like the size of it, especially when it's like cross body. Like I think it just looks really good, especially like with the shirt um, when it's thin. If ever I have a choice, I always choose gold hardware or over silver. So I'm really happy that it comes in gold. The strap is also adjustable, so you can double it up like so. And this is really in right now, a little bit 90s. I think that this would be really cute with like a dress um, or you can wear it cross body like so. And I think it just looks really, really cute both ways. There is a plate on the bag right here um, and it says Genistry, but it is very small, very minimal. And personally, I really like that. I find that some brands, um, they, you know, have a really big label. It's just a little bit too loud, but this is definitely my style. It's, um, you can read it, but it's not too in your face. And then to close the bag, there is this gold magnetic strap closure, um, which feels just very, really good quality. The bag is like, the material is kind of malleable, like you can move it around, yet it still has a really nice structure to it. First impressions of the bag is I really like the size. I actually didn't have any bag of the size, um, so I really needed something, especially for like when I'm you know, going out to dinner or like a night out or something, I always had to bring like a really big bag and it just, it didn't feel right. Um, so I think that this is perfect to just bring your necessities around. Um, so what I usually bring in it is my phone, my cards, my keys, I can fit in a lipstick. I really like that the pocket in here is the width of the purse because sometimes I find that brands will make a pocket that's just a bit too small and it's just a little bit unnecessary. I can't stick my hand in it, um, but this one is nice and big and spacious so you can kind of um, put everything into compartments and I really like the inside material of the bag I think that it will be really easy to wipe and clean um, I don't know about you but I've had some makeup mishaps in the past <laughs> in my bags um, which have resulted in glitter everywhere so um, yeah I just think that this will be really easy to clean compared to some other bags that I have like I mentioned this is the first bag I've ever owned that's apple leather um, and if I kind of close my eyes it does remind me of regular leather except the texture is just a little bit different it is definitely more of like a thinner material compared to leather I think and um, a little bit more malleable as some of you guys may know I also have another bag from Jenna Street I have their bucket bag in black which is made from vegan leather um, and I've gotten endless compliments on that bag um, and a lot of people think I'm lying when I say it's vegan leather because the quality it just looks really really good so I like that Jenna Street does a really great job in making their bags look like very high quality so that is it for this video I hope that you guys liked my little review of the Loon small bag I'm super happy with it and overall I'm just really happy with Genistry as a brand I feel like they really tick all the boxes when it comes to being a triple bottom line business they have the environmental social and an economical aspect so yeah I'm really happy I only have positive things to say um, so if you guys like this video and you want to see more videos like this then please like and subscribe um, to see more and I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye